G'day guys, Ange RC here for another uh, Copper Violence update and a little bit of a mod that I've done. Um, I just took it out for a bash, so I've just given it a bit of a clean up. Just uh, gave the wheels and the undercarriage a bit of a clean. And in my previous, one of my previous videos, I did end up breaking the body on it because they are pretty flimsy. Because um, I don't have a front bar, but I have ordered a bar that'll be coming uh, sometime this week or next week. Recommended by another another subscriber. He did say to get the bar, so uh, thank you for that, RC Crazy. So apart from the body, the front of the body being broken, I did find this mesh tape. Um, it's like a gaffer tape that that it's actually got cotton. Th uh, Got nylon thread through it. So apart from that, excuse the camera angles, but I did actually do the whole in underside of the body and that has helped it uh, heaps. So it strengthened it up. I uh, can't give it a percentage of how much, but um, it has helped it. And also where the, uh, the body pins go, I should put a little bit there as well to stop them uh, from cracking from all the flexibility. So one of the mods that I did do to give it a little bit more strength, uh, recommended by another subscriber. This is a very, very light aluminium tube. Um, I know it looks dodgy at the moment. I haven't finished it, but um, it's just holding on. It's supporting from front shock tower to the rear shock tower. Um, as you can probably see, I have slotted it. So it actually sits inside the body mount so it can't actually go anywhere so if I slide that left it will slide left and right it's fairly loose so it's not in there forced um, it's slotted and also on the front it's slotted as well and uh, yeah end up just breaking one now I flipped over and uh, broke one of the body pins I've got them ordered and they're coming and also chopped them as well they're just, I just find that they're way too long and they snap off all the time. But I've just given it a little bit of strength, just something to see if it's gonna be good or not. Don't judge me on it. It's just, I'm only just starting in RC, so I thought I might give it a shot. Still got the, uh, everything original on it, everything stock motor, 2000 KV stock motor. And uh, another thing as well is, got some string line, some heavy duty string line. I've actually just tied a knot through the rear spoiler and to the arc clips just so I don't lose them all the time. And uh, I need to find something what I can do for the front. I might end up having to drill a hole uh, through the uh, through the body and uh, putting another bit of string line on there too. So yeah, apart from the uh, apart from the the car, it drives well. Everything is still stock on it. It's only got a 2000, uh, 2000 kV motor in it uh, and a standard and a stock standard um, 60 amp ESC. I have ordered a 19 tooth pinion that's coming. It's also been recommended. And uh, I'm gonna give that a shot and see what happens. And also I'm still just running just the standard 3300 milliamp 11.1 volt uh, lipo battery 25c and uh, see how we go yeah just an, another mod i done as well with the cobra is i found that the servo saver the e-clip kept on uh coming out it's got a bit of a weak top lip where the actual uh e-clip locks into so what I've done for just a little bit of extra support, I found a really half millimeter thin washer and I've just uh, sat that on top of the uh, of the E-clip and that'll stop that from actually lifting out. So that little washer there, uh, it's only a quick mod just to, just to get it going. It's not actually sitting on the E-clip, it's actually sitting on the plastic that the uh, the E-clip is locked into because that little bit of plastic on top, I just found it was very, very thin and weak. And that's just supporting and holding down that top plastic piece so the E-clip 
can stay in. So that has helped. Um, when I took it out a few days ago, I find that the steering was a bit sloppy and that was the reason why my servo saver was, uh, was not functioning properly. So that's just a bit of a mod there until I can upgrade and uh, get a metal um, servo saver. And just one more, more thing guys, to keep it a little bit cleaner. Your standard uh, super cheap auto. Got a bit of wet look tie shine. So uh, that'll help with the uh, keeping it, you know, polish, spick and span. Making it a little bit more detail and uh, keeping it nice and healthy. It's also okay for the body as well on the plastic stuff. So uh, yeah, you can spray that on and uh, give that a bit of a wipe down and just give things, you know, sorry about the roughness, but uh, yeah, it'll help. It'll look a million dollars. Well, not really a million dollars, but uh... all right guys, have a good day and I'll catch you on the next video.